How we doing, folks? Welcome back. Right, we've been done a wee review tonight, so I know I've got lots of torches, but uh, big thanks to Brian Knight, who've sent me another torch. So, let's see what this one is. Yeah, we'll see from the thumbnail. So, this one is the WT01 Apollo. Right, so I've already got the What's this one? The PT18 Pro Oath Keeper. And we've also got the. I'm trying to remember what this one is called. The P28 Oath Keeper. Right, this one that I've just sent me seems quite a bit bigger. Charging flashlight it says maximum run time six days. Now that's good. And that six days. What else? Uh, right, it's got 1100 lumens, peak beam intensity, I don't know what that means, 9000 minutes maximum run time. So six days run time. Right, it's impact resistant. Beam distance 320 metres and it's water resistant down a metre. So let's get it open and see what's in the box. So, like I say, this is the WT01 Apollo. Oh, before I go into that, also in the box, there's also a, a, one of these wee mini lights. Right. Oh, it's quite nice as well. It's even got a wee charger with it. So, ideal just for sticking on your key ring. Right, but the review is not about that. Tonight's review is the WT01 Apollo. So, let's get it out of, let's get it out of the box. Right, again, comes in a nice, nicely packaged case. Right, inside. Open the right way. What have I got? So, the WT01 Apollo. Oh, ah, that, this one's definitely a lot bigger than others. Right, so obviously, get the main torch. Right, because I've got accessories in here as well. Right, you get the charger. You get a car charger. You get the actual charger that all plugs into. Not 100%, I don't think that's for anything. I think that's just a, a bit of the packaging. Right, so mains charger, car charger. Right, the only thing about this, it's obviously it's come, uh, well, it's not a UK plug. Right, but as long as you get one of these attachments, I'm quite sure you can still plug it in. Unless there's one final box still to open. Oh, right, this is obviously the actual charging point. You get the usual case, so I've showed you the case. Same as the other ones, uh, let's get the adjustable clip goes on your belt. Again, it's going to slide into the. And get this out. Oh, there's another plug in here, I think. Oh, it's got everything. I can get it out. So, apologies. It's actually got the. So, that's actually quite good. As well as having the adapter, it's also got the normal plug as well. So, it's basically, even if you're taking it abroad, not that, got, not that I would take a. I toss that size abroad with me. It's definitely a lot chunkier this one than the other two that I've had. But enough of the yapping. Let's have a look at the actual, the actual torch. So, what we'll do, I'll spin you around eh, and I'll kind of talk to the torch while I'm... I've not talked to the torch, but I'll give you an idea of the different kind of specs on it, etc. 
So it's obviously got the, uh, the wireless uh, charging point. That's the way that works. It obviously just slots into the bottom of that. Right, and then the actual the whole light actually just sits in that holder. So quite neat. So you actually kind of sitting on your desk and it's not a case of you need to kind of plug it in and like leave it lying about. So that's quite a good wee design. Right, uh, it's got a luminous SST 40 LED in it. It's got an intelligent power indicator. So that's obviously on this section here. It's got the usual overcharge and overheat protection. It's got regulated power supply. Uh, reverse polarity protection. Toughened glass on the front of it and an anti-reflective coating. It's alloy aluminium reflector with professional optical analysis on the inside. And it's made of aircraft grade high strength aluminium AL6061T6 with premium type 3 military hard anodized abrasive finish. So it's definitely a Another solid torch, so the WT01 Apollo. Right, it's obviously got the four settings. It's got, sorry, well, it's actually got six settings. It's got low. So that's me going the, the wrong way. So it's got turbo, so that's 1100 lumens. That'll last you for 280 minutes. You get high, which is 430 lumens, which will last 350 minutes. You get the middle, which is 70 lumens, that'll last 2000 minutes. And then you get the low, which is 10 lumens and will last you 9000 minutes. Right, the strobe is 1100 uh, lumens, and then you've obviously got the SOS as well. Thank God, Eddie it's get. Beam distance 320 metres, impact resistant a metre, uh, waterproofed under a metre. Right, dimension wise, it is 156 millimetres in length, right, by 33 millimetres body diameter, and up at the top end, it's 45 millimetres. Right, net weight is 235 grams, and that's excluding the battery. So, that's a quick one. Strobe-wise, I'm taking it works like the other ones, and you yeah, keep your finger on it. And it'll basically do the strobe. And then, I'm trying to remember how you... There's an SOS as well, but I'm not 100%. Oh, there we go. Here's the SOS. Right, so just it depends on how many clicks you, you press the one button. But ideal, obviously, if you're, you're stuck out in the middle of the hills. So, next we test is out into the darkness. Let's see how bright this bad boy is. So, it does say uh, full beam, it's 1100 lumens, and it's got a, a beam distance of, what did I say, 320 metres. So, let's go and test it. Oh, apologies. Meant, meant to mention about the battery. It's compatible with 126650 and 118650 battery. I'll just take it. I'll take it out so you can, so you can see it. Right, so it's got a chunky one, this one. Right, we're outside, so I could actually have done with another, another light to see where the button is. Right, here we go. Right, so that's basically the full beam. So, again, another decent bright light. 320 metres it goes to. So it's definitely got a brilliant beam on it. Right, so that's at turbo. That's at high. 
that's uh, down to the medium, and that's low. So you can't pick it up that well here, but obviously that's just maybe if you were in your tent or something. Uh, strobe wise, so that's a strobe, and that's the SOS. So that's a WT01 Apollo, another good torch with Brynite, definitely a lot bigger this one, a lot chunkier, but another good light. This is definitely the biggest of the, the three that I've got so far, and obviously you do get this wee mini light as well, so that'll be ideal, I'll stick that on my key ring, and it's quite good again, it's got the wee charger so you could plug it in your car and move it out and about. Right, much the same with the bigger light, you can obviously, you get the, the car charger as well. So that's basically it. Uh, Bry Knight WT01 Apollo. So I'll put the links below in the video where you can get them. You can get them on Amazon, but I'll put the links in just to make it for easier, just in case anybody's thinking of buying one. So, very nice. So thanks again for watching, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.